Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover estimation. And when we estimate, we find an approximate or close value to the exact answer. Estimation is a very important skill that helps us determine a reasonable value to a problem. Estimation is critical in both math class and the real world, whether you are determining if an answer is in a reasonable range, estimating the total cost of items as you're shopping in a store, estimating the cost of a discounted item, or even estimating the time of arrival if you're on a trip. Estimation is used all the time in a wide variety of situations. In this specific video, I'm going to cover estimating when adding whole numbers. So let's jump into number one, where we have 63 plus 26. And the first strategy I wanna mention is called front end estimation. And that just means that we're going to round uh, the numbers in the problem to the greatest valued digit. So the digit furthest to the left. So for number one, it's going to be the tens place, the six and the two. So 63 rounded to the tens place is 60, and 26 rounded to the tens place is 30. So we can do 60 plus 30 equals 90 for our estimate. So 63 plus 26 is approximately 90. So that equal sign, that's squiggly there, that means approximately, so that's our estimate. Now the exact answer to number one is 89. So you can see that our estimate was really close to the exact answer. So on to number two, where we have 509 plus 294. So let's use front end estimation again here, and we'll take a look at the hundreds place. So 509 rounds to 500, and 294 rounds to 300. So 500 plus 300 equals 800. So 509 plus 294 is approximately 800. Now the exact answer to that problem is 803. So again, our estimate was really close to that exact answer. Let's move on to number three, where we have 8,732 plus 4,902. I'm going to show you a couple of strategies for this one. First, front end estimation. So here, thousands place. 8,732 would round to 9,000. 4,902 would round to 5,000. So our estimate here would be 14,000. Now another strategy, we can take a look to see if we can round these to a closer number that's still easy to work with. And one strategy I like to use, I like to look at the midway point. And what I mean by that, so when we rounded 8,732, we look to see if that's closer to 8,000 or 9,000. How about the midway point or halfway point of 8,500? which this is closer to than um, 8,000 or 9,000. So we can round this to 8,500. It's still a number that is easy to work with. Plus 4,902 here is going to be still closer to 5,000 than that halfway or midpoint of 4,500. So let's keep this at 5,000. Add these up and we get 13,500 for our estimate. So a little different there, but uh, they are still close. So let's see which one gives us a better estimate. So the exact answer to number three is going to be 13,634. So this is going to be a closer estimate here. And that's because 8,500 is closer to our actual problem, 8,732, than 9,000 is. So the closer you round, the better your estimate is going to be. Now 14,000, this is still a good estimate. Both are fine, 13,500 is just closer. 
There's no specific set rules for estimating. So whatever works best for you, whatever strategy works best for you. On to number four, where we have 4,513 plus 849. So just like number three, I'll go through a couple of different strategies here. First one being front end estimation. So thousands and hundreds. So the first number there, 4,513, is going to round to 5,000. Plus 849 is going to round to 800. So we would get an estimate of 5,800. Another strategy we could use, we could look at the halfway uh, point here for 4,513 is actually really close to 4,500, closer than it is to 5,000. So this is going to give us a better estimate. Let's use 4,500 and we will keep 849, we'll round that to the front end there and keep it as 800. And we will get uh, 5,300. So a little different there, close to our uh, first estimate there of 5,800. We'll see which one ends up being closer. And I'll even give you a third strategy here. So we'll do 4,500 again. And for 849, we're going to do the uh, halfway point. So when we round that, we're seeing is it closer to 800 or 900? How about 850? That is very close to 850. So let's use that for our estimate. Because again, the closer you round numbers to the original problem, the better your estimate is going to be. And this gives us 5,000. 350. So you can see that all three of our estimates are fairly close. So let's see which one got us closest to the exact answer. And the exact answer is 5,362. So that's our exact answer there. So this last estimate was the closest. And that's because our rounded numbers there for our estimate are the closest to the original problem. So again, the closer you round to the original problem, the better the estimate. Now, are any of those estimates wrong or incorrect? No, but some are closer than others. So whatever works best for you as far as strategies when it comes to estimating. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.